हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ द हिस्ट्री ऑफ यू सीरीज प्रेजेंटेड बाय द सी एस एस वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट ओपन स्काइज प्लान और ओपन स्काइज प्रपोजल लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस लेक्चर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक ओपन स्काइज प्लान वाज प्रेजेंटेड बाय यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स प्रेजिडेंट आइजन हावर इन नाइनटीन इन द जनीवा समिट meeting with the representatives of France, Great Britain and Soviet Union. Keep in mind that this was the time period when the world was facing Cold War, United States and USSR were in an indirect confrontation against each other. The plan though never accepted but laid the foundation for President Ronald Reagan's later policy of trust but verify in relation to arms agreements with the soviet union unveiling of open skies proposal eisenhower met with prime minister anthony eden of great britain premier exer of france and premier nikolai of the soviet union in geneva in july 1955 the agenda for the summit included discussions on the future of germany and arms control as it became clear that no consensus could be reached on the issue of possible german reunification or the precise configuration of an arms control agreement eisenhower dramatically unveiled what came to be known as his open skies proposal Now what was open skies proposal The proposal basically called for the United States and the Soviet Union to exchange maps indicating the exact location of every military installation in their respective nations With these maps in hand each nation would then be allowed to conduct aerial surveillance of the installations in order to assure that the other nations were in compliance with any arms control agreements that might be reached ussr's rejection while the french and british expressed interest in the idea the soviets rejected any plan that would leave their nation subject to surveillance by a western power khrushchev declared that eisenhower's open skies was nothing more than an espionage plot us intentions behind open skies proposal indeed open skies was much less than an espionage plot eisenhower himself was later quoted as saying that he knew the soviets would never accept the plan but thought that their rejection of the idea would make these russians look like they were the major impediment to an arms control agreement for the soviets the idea of us plans conducting surveillance of their military bases was unthinkable they did not want it known that the soviet union was far behind the united states in terms of its military capabilities the united states soon found that out Anyway just a few months after the Soviet rejection of open skies the Eisenhower administration approved the use of high altitude spy planes the famous U2s for spying on the Soviet Union 30 years later president Reagan would use much the same rhetoric in his arms control dealings with the Soviet Union arms control he declared could only be effective if compliance with such agreements could be verified trust but verify became reagan's standard phrase so this was all about open skies proposal which was presented by the united states during cold war time this was all from today's lecture thanks for watching this video like share subscribe and now forget to press the bell icon for more videos goodbye